Hello, my name is Colin Greatwood. I'm a mechatronics application engineer with Vesto, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change CMMT telegrams in TIA portal. Here you can see I'm going to scan for my CMMT stepper drive and add it to my project. I have already configured the programming port at .0.39. Once you've added the drive to your project, you can double click and enter the plugin. Now I'll click connect. And since it's factory default drive, it prompts me to start first setup. So I'll click that blue button. And I don't have a motor or axis here. I'm going to use virtual today. So I'm picking any motor and activating the virtual drive I'm using a linear axis or rotary axis of unlimited rotations and picking the user defined mounting kit. Since I don't have that hardware, I just have the drive. I'll change activation to field bus only and my power supply is 24 volts. I'm set up for Profi Net since I'll be using a Siemens PLC. And obviously the motor cable and all this hardware stuff doesn't really matter since I don't have it. Once your first setup is completed, I will connect to the plugin again, verify that I have Profi Net set up as the field bus of choice, Go down to Telegram, and you can see it's defaulting to Telegram 1 Application Class 1 on the left side. Now I'll write my parameters to the drive, acknowledge the standard empty error, and reinitialize the drive. So you can see here I have Telegram 1 selected for Profinet. Now in TIA Portal, I will click and drag the CMMT Stepper Multi Protocol of the right GSTML version, double click on the drive in my project, and you can see it defaults to Telegram 1 when you add that to a standard TIA portal project. I'll compile the, compile the hardware and software changes here, wait to make sure I get no errors, and then download to the PLC. Notice all my IP addressing and Profinet device names are already in place, and I don't have to worry about that. By going online, I can verify with all greens that I don't have any issues and Telegram 1 is communicating to the drive. If I go back to parameterization, you can see Telegram 1 is active here on the drive. Offline, you can still see that Telegram 1 is configured. So just confirming the offline and online are showing Telegram 1. And that's coming from the PLC, not from the drive. So now I'll go back to TIA portal go offline on my PLC and delete the standard Telegram 1 from slot 1.3 on my drive and I'll drag in the standard positioning Telegram 111. Again, I'll compile the hardware and software changes here, wait for that to complete with no errors, and then download to the PLC. Notice I'm only making this Telegram 111 change on the PLC side. I'll go online, verify everything's green, from the PLC side, and now you can see back on parameterization in the drive online with it that Telegram 111 is configured. You can also verify it on the Diagnosis Process Data tab by looking for PZD Telegram selection. Thank you for your time.